Hello everyone and welcome to class of NBIOT channels. NBIOT physical channels are designed which are based on legacy LT to a larger extent. So today we are going to discuss about physical channels. In this we will discuss about downlink and the uplink channels. So let's start with the downlink channels. Downlink channels NBIOT provides the following physical signals or channels in the downlink. First is NPSS which is narrowband primary synchronization symbol or signal. NSSS as narrowband secondary synchronization signal. NPVCH as narrowband physical broadcast channel. NPDCH as narrowband physical downlink control channel. NPDSCH is narrowband physical downlink shared channel. Unlike LT, these physical channels and signals are multiplexed in time. Each NB-IoT subframe spans over 12 subcarrier, which is primary source block in the frequency domain and 1 millisecond in the time domain. NPSS and NSSS are used by an NB-IoT user equipment so that it can perform cell search, which includes time and frequency synchronization and cell identity detection. Legacy LT synchronization sequences, it occupies 6 PRBs, they cannot be reused for NB-IoT. Therefore, we require to design a new system. NPSS is transmitted in subframe 5 in every 10 millisecond frame. NPSS detection is one of the most or demanding operation for, from a UE perspective. To allow Efficient implementation of NPSS detection, NB-IoT uses a hierarchical sequence. Each of, like it uses set of few sequences in it. And triple S has 20 millisecond periodicity and it is transmitted in subframe 9. N double S, N triple S is a length 132 frequency domain sequence and each element is mapped on a resource element. Narrowband physical broadcast channel carries master information block and it is transmitted in subframe 0 in every frame. NPDCH carries scheduling information in both uplink and downlink data channels. It carries HARQ acknowledgement information, paging indication, random access response, scheduling information. NPDSCH it carries data from higher layers as well as paging message. It contains RAR message as well. There are number of subframes that can be allocated to carry NPD CH and NPD SCH. To reduce UE complexity, all downlink channels use the LTTBCC, which is tail biting convolution code. And the maximum transport block size of this is 680 bits compared to that of LT, which is 70,000 bits. So this is downlink physical channel hierarchy. We can see NPCH in subframe 0 and NPSS subframe 5 and NSSS subframe 9. Rest of each are different subframes. These are all like to reduce all the TBCC maximum transport site is 680 and in LT it is of this much. Moving to the next is NPRAJ and NPUSCH which are uplink channel. NPRAJ as narrowband physical random access channel and NPUSCH is narrowband physical uplink shared channel. PRAJ is a newly designed channel because LT PRAJ occupies a bandwidth of 1.08 MHz which is more than paid and PRAJ for NBIOT. Here, each symbol group consists of one cyclic prefix and five symbols. It is a newly designed channel. The waveform is referred to as single tone frequency hoping. It has two formats, format 0 and uh, format 1 and format 2. Format 1 is used to carry uplink data and uses the same LT turbo code for error correction. Whereas second format is used for signaling HARQ and acknowledgement of NPD. SCH, it uses repetition code for error correction. NPU SCH format 1, it supports multi-tone transmission. 
six tone and three tone formats are introduced for NB IoT user equipments because of the coverage limitation cannot be fulfilled from like we cannot allocate higher UE bandwidth. Thank you.